I'm sure you've all seen the videos of people killing the Lago in seven hits. And you might have seen um, one of Distortion 2's runs recently, which got the, the reverse version, which, which was the, the cursed Del Lago that took 40 hits. So I figured out that this is indeed a DA glitch. It's the, the DA pretty much breaking and uh, resetting to zero. Even in professional, even in any difficulty, it just breaks and becomes zero. I'm gonna show you how you do it. I'm gonna show you how it works on the Lago also. And maybe talk about some, some of the applications you could find for this glitch. So, first of all, DA. DA stands for Difficulty Adjustment. It's basically like a, a variable that changes the difficulty in real time. So if you're doing poorly, the game makes the game a bit easier. If you're doing good, the game makes the game a bit harder. That's it. It goes from 0 to 11, 11 being the max. And on Professional, it's usually it's only 10 or 11. The way the game calculates DA is by adding action points and item points together. Item points is literally just the sum total of all of your items. So if you have more items, the game is going to assume that you have, you're have you better equipped to deal with bullshit, so it's going to up the difficulty. And action points stands for like, like, it goes down if you get hit, goes up if you kill enemies, stuff like that. It's like how well you're doing in the game, pretty much. The game adds those two numbers together. And then it compares it. It, make, it, uh, it has like a little, um, it has thresholds, and it says, okay, if, if your number is between these two numbers, then the DA is going to be this number. So, for example, in professional, anything above 2000 is going to be a DA 11, anything below 2000 is going to be DA 10. That simple. Uh, you can actually check this right now. Let me make my. Uh, not the right thing. Click. Let me make my action points uh, 2000. Let me, I'm already at below 2000. Let's say this was this. Sum total 1500. DA 10. I'm shooting just to update the DA because this doesn't update the DA. And if it was 1000 and 1000. Maybe 1012 because it's the value of one bullet. It would be DA11. If I keep shooting, it's gonna go down to DA10. It's that simple. The way you break this is if your action points and item points together is one of those numbers that I'm going to display on screen right now. One of those numbers with decimals after them. It has to have decimals. For example, uh, let's say, um, let's say my item points were 999, let's say my action points were 1000 point whatever, okay? If the DA was to update right now, it would become zero. I'm going to add 12 to my, uh, item points so I can shoot a bullet and you're going to see the DA is going to become zero. If I shoot again, it's going to fix itself because I'm going to update it again. Not a number anymore. So it doesn't matter as long as the total as long as the total of these two is one of those numbers with decimals, it breaks. My theory is that they um they programmed the DA in such a way that it didn't account for those decimals at all. Like they said, um, if the DA, if the number is between 1000 and 1999, then DA 10. If it's between 2000 and 2999, then 11. But because of that, there's a little gap that's unaccounted for between, nine, between 1999 and 2000. Anything that's between that doesn't count. It doesn't have a value assigned to it. And so it breaks and becomes zero. The way it works with the Lago specifically is a bit different because the Lago updates the DA every time you throw a harpoon at it. 
but it only looks at action points. It does not care about item points. It's got its own set values, and it's only going to look at action points. If you want to 7 hits the Lago, your action points specifically have to be one of those numbers. So if I make my uh, I can make my item points whatever I want, I'm going to leave them like this. If my action points were, say, 199 point whatever, actually I need to refuel the boat first, which is going to give me action points. Yep. So let's say anything with decimals. Now what's going to happen is that my first harpoon will do normal, normal damage because it hasn't updated yet. But every harpoon after that is going to be glitched and do 130. Let me also change to 60 so I can actually hit the harpoons. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That's what happens. If you enter the fight with one of those values, you will always get seven hits. And if you want the cursed version that Distortion 2 got, you need to spawn the Lago. Like your DA needs to be broken the moment you spawn the Lago, which is what happened to him. His DA broke at some point, his fish farm, and became zero. And then he spawned the Lago, and you're gonna see him spawn with a the DA0 health pool. There you go, 2400 HP. He then went to the boat, refueled it. He did not get the action point bonus, which I might get here. I didn't get it. He started the fight. His first harpoon did 200, 230. There you go. Every harpoon after that did 60 though. And so, yeah, I mean, good luck. Alright, now, how do we put this in a run? Honestly, I am not sure. I am not sure because we will need to manipulate our action points perfectly, and we can't do that right now. First, we would need to map out exactly how many action points you lose for every bit of damage that you take. We will need to map out exactly how much you gain for everything. And then we will need to like pretty much like have a perfect run where we don't get hit by anything we don't want to get hit by. It's right now it's impossible. You will not see a you will not see an intentional uh seven hits lago in a run for a long time, I think. Like finding a setup for this and running it in is going to take a long, long time. We could use the um, the other setup though. The other method I could see being put into runs, maybe, not sure, because you can literally just delete items to adjust your item points. So I can just delete this knife, remove forty from my item points. I can delete rifle bullets; they're all they're each worth uh, thirty six. We could adjust our item points to make it uh, to make it match to know like what number we want to aim at. So for example, if you want, uh, I don't know, 3,999, you could just delete items until you get there. With some math, you could, you could, do, you could do it. We could break, we could break uh, DA at specific points where we need it to. It could help with some rooms. If you just, if you just want to run through a room, you're not going to gain or lose action points during that room, so you can just make all of the enemies super dumb. That could be a way. Some fights, we could just make sure we enter with DA0, kill them in one shot. For example, in this clip of, uh, of Nevs that he got accidentally, his DA broke, it was zero for this one shot, and he managed to one shot this, uh, this Bella sister. That you just one headshot with a sniper rifle. You can see the DA uh, flicker to zero in the bottom left. That's one way we could do it. Is it realistic? I don't know. 
again, even if you delete items and everything, like this is this is so complicated. This is like you would need to know everything. You need to like pause the game, do some quick math, and then like de delete what you need. It costs resources. It's a nightmare. So I'm not sure this is gonna be put into runs anytime soon, but it's out there. So if you want to look into it, if you want to start mapping out the uh, action point gains and everything, feel free. Uh, good luck, but feel free. All right. That's what I wanted to say. Just wanted to make the make the world aware of this glitch and how it works. If you've ever killed a boss in one shot, if you've ever killed the Lago in seven shots, now you know why.